Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll walk through three ways to change column order in the pandas data frame. Some people might think that the order of the data columns doesn't matter too much as long as the data is there. This is only partly true and it really depends on what you're doing with the data. If you're like me and use Python to automate a lot of Excel reports, then the column order is important because we want to make sure the columns follow a logical order so that whoever looks at the Excel spreadsheets can easily understand what we're trying to communicate. Let's use pandas and numpy libraries to create some dummy data inside the data frame with five rows by five columns. Here I'm using comprehension to create my data set. The first way I'm gonna show here is by using a data frame indexing. For this method, all we really need to do is passing a list of column names into the df square bracket indexing notation. The order of the column names in that list will become the order of the column for the data frame. Our original data frame has an ascending order, for instance, column 1, 2, 3, up to column 5. If we create a list and mix up the column names, let's maybe do column 2 first, then column 1, then column 5, and 3, and 4. Then we pass this list into the df square bracket indexing notation, and we'll get a new data frame with the column order shifted following the column name order that we entered into that list. Using the data frame indexing method, we can quickly reverse columns for data frame as well. We can get all the column names by calling the df.columns attribute and then we can reverse it easily like this df.columns to colon negative one. Then we just need to pass this reverse list of column names back into the data frame and we'll have a data frame with all the columns order reversed. The second way I'm going to show you to change column order is by using the df.reindex method. This method can shuffle around both rows and columns. To change the column order, we just need to call df.reindex, then specify that we want to reindex the columns, then pass in the column names in the order that we want the final data frame looks like. Although this approach requires more typing than the data frame indexing method, I still think this is the better way to write the code because this improves readability over the first indexing method. And because we have the keyword re-index in the code, so I'll make the code easier to understand, especially for someone who's new to pandas functions. Since we're already talking about re-index function, we might as well take a look at how to change the row orders or the index orders. To do that, simply call the re-index method, then pass a list to the argument index, and then we'll have a new data frame with a different row order. The third method I'm going to show you is by using the sort index method. This is more of a sorting method because we can only sort the columns by the column names. Let's mix up the column order first. Then we can sort it either by ascending order or descending order. Note that we have to specify an argument x is equal to 1. Usually in pandas x is equals to 0 refers to rows and x is equals to 1 refers to columns. Note the keyword argument here is ascending and it can be either true or false. There's no no keyword argument called descending for this method. So if we want to sort by descending order, then just set the ascending argument to false. And similar to the reindex method, this sort index can also sort rows, either by ascending or descending order. To sort rows, we just need to change axis equal to zero. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more tricks and tips on pandas and python. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.